Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Fallon, if you're new. So a couple of videos ago, I posted a Polaroid hacks video and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a Polaroid collection video and a lot of you guys said yes. So today I'm going to be sharing one of my absolute favorite things with you guys, which is my Polaroid collection. And it's not like huge or anything. And there are some cameras at the end of the video that aren't actually Polaroid brand, but they're like Instamatic cameras. So I thought they would kind of fit. So I added those in there too. So it's not like a huge collection, but I really wanted to show you guys and share with you guys all my Polaroids that I have. If you want to see that, then let's just get into it. Okay guys, I'm gonna start with my favorite Polaroid because this is the first one I ever found. I searched the same thrift store over and over to find one and I finally found this bad boy. It's a red and black Polaroid cool cam and you just unfold the top to reveal the lens and the flash and all that stuff. And it just looks like this. Here's a couple of different like angled views. It's really cool and I'm obsessed. And there's just this little button on the side that you use to pull down where you put the film cartridge in. And this takes Polaroid 600 film and Impossible actually is a brand that sells this film. So you can get it online, but you can also get it at Henry's as well. And this is what the empty cartridge looks like. And you just kind of insert it in the bottom and then you just snap the bottom shut and the black little thing is gonna come out as soon as you close it. And then once that comes out, you're ready to snap your picture. And this is what the picture shape looks like. It's a little bit faded because it's an older camera, but I just like love like the vintage vibes. So this next one is actually my most recent Polaroid that I've gotten. And I actually got this one for Christmas, so I don't know how much it cost, but Tyler found it at some kind of garage sale. I believe he found it for pretty cheap. Um, but this one is called a Polaroid Impulse. And instead of being like the foldable version, like the cool cam was, it's just kind of there, but there is a button on the top that you push down and the flash pops out. And while the flash pops out, it kind of reveals reveals the lens. So as you can see here, you push it in, pop it out, and there's the lens. And a very similar to the cool cam, there's a little button on the side that opens up where the film goes. And actually while I was filming this, I realized there was a really old cartridge of film in there. It's all expired, but I thought it was kind of cool. But this camera also takes the Polaroid 600 film, so the photos turn out the same shape and like the same look as the cool cam. Again, like I said, Impossible sells a version of this film that you can get online or at Henry's. So I got this next one for Christmas a while ago. It's a Polaroid one-step camera and what's really cool about it is that it is still in the original box and still has like the original papers and everything that it came with. Um, but I really love this one because it kind of has that like classic Polaroid look. It's white with the rainbow down the front, which I'm super obsessed with. Um, and it definitely wasn't used very much because it still has the plastic thing on the strap. Um, but this one takes Polaroid SX-70 film, which Impossible also makes a version of. So just like the Polaroid 600 film, you can find this film online. But unfortunately, I still have not had a chance to get it and use it. But it just has a little button on the side like the other cameras to reveal the film cartridge hole. So this one was another thrift store find. I paid $15 for this one and it is a Polaroid square shooter too. And it's really cool because this one's a little bit different from the other ones because the other ones just shoot the picture out and develop it. But this one, you actually have to pull a tab out and then it takes peel apart film. So it has like this layer on top of the photo that you have to wait a couple of seconds and then peel it apart. Um, and the film type is actually called type 80 and I haven't found this film yet. I'm sure you can find it online, but I haven't had a chance to actually use it yet. So I haven't actually found out what the pictures turn out like, but this is what the inside of the camera looks like as well as the empty film cartridge. And this one actually takes, um, double a batteries which I found a little bit weird I still haven't really figured out how to get the batteries in there because they go way in there and there is a little bit of like battery acid there so I'm still hoping that this works but again I haven't had a chance to use it but, it, but it's still really cool looking so this one is super cool because instead of being an Instamatic photo camera, this is actually a Polaroid video camera. Um, and it's called the Polavision Land Camera. And I'm obsessed with it. Just like, can we just like take a second? Because look how cool this thing looks. And it actually works. Um, I did have batteries in it before and I tried it and it works. However, I haven't had a chance to actually see what the film, like the video footage looks like, but you just press this little button on the side and it opens up the back. And this is what the little like cassette tape looks like. And I'm not sure if you can still buy these. So if you guys know anything about this, let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to get more tapes and use it. I think it'd be super cool to film like some kind of YouTube video with this. I'm not really sure how that would work, but the camera is functioning. It's in really good shape and I still have the box for this as well. 
Okay, so now we're getting into some non-Polaroid Instamatic cameras, and this is actually a Kodak, a Kodak Colorburst 100, and you can't actually get film for this anymore. I've looked it up online, but it's a really cool, like, I don't know. I think it's just something really cool to have in the collection because it's really cool looking. And to be honest, for like the longest time, I didn't even know Kodak made instant cameras. It's basically the Kodak version of a Polaroid camera, but I do believe that Kodak got sued for these, which is why you can't find the film anywhere. Um, but you just press a little button on the bottom and there's the film cartridge. You just take it out just like the other ones. Um, and this is what the empty film cartridge looks like. So if you guys have any info on how I can find a film that will fit this camera, I will love you forever. Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I just think it looks super cool. And I do also have the original bag and papers that came with it with this one as well. Okay, so this guy might look a little familiar to you guys because I have used this a lot. Um, this is my Fujifilm Instax 100 and I found this on Kijiji, which is a buy and sell website for $30 and I was super pumped because I really wanted a Polaroid camera that made the wide film. Um, so this one just has like a little battery cartridge on the side, it takes four AA batteries because this is a bit of a monster. Um, but yeah, it just takes the Instax wide film. It's super easy to find. You can literally find it everywhere these days because Instax also sells the mini film. So wherever you can find the mini film, you can find this film as well. And that's what the inside of the camera looks like. And these are what the photos turn out like. And then last but not least, I could not forget this little guy. This is my Fujifilm um, Mini 50S. And I know everyone in the dog has one of these little mini Polaroid cameras, but I had to add it in here because it is part of the collection. Um, and I know technically it's not Polaroid because it's Fujifilm, but everyone just calls these Polaroids anyways because they make the same kind of Instamatic photos. Um, but yeah, this is just a Mini 50S in piano black. And I just really like this one because it's so cute and small and portable. And this is what it looks like when you turn it on, the lens comes out and the film shoots out the top there. I didn't open up the back on this one because I do actually have film in there, but this one also comes with a little macro lens that you just keep in the little clamshell on the strap, and that's my collection. Also, this is what the photos look like, but I'm sure you've seen them before. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I really hope you like it. If you did, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up down there. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I make videos all the time about all kinds of different stuff like beauty, lifestyle, cameras, like hacks, like all kinds of different crazy stuff. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also leave it in the comments down below on a scale of one to 10, how Riverdale do I look in this sweater? I'm like totally obsessed with it. Um, I got it on sale from Perfect 21 and it's, all coming soon. Anyways, yeah, I think that's it for today's video, guys, and I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye!